How to troubleshoot ticket update failures in Freshdesk Automation Automation rules automate complex workflows with a click of a button. In Freshdesk, automations are used to update ticket properties, reopen closed tickets, and so on. In this video, we will use the example of an automation rule that failed to reopen closed tickets when a customer responds. Let's see how you can quickly check and correct an automation rule using three simple steps. Checking the Ticket Activities section Matching the conditions of the automation rule and the properties of the ticket where automation failed. Adding the missing conditions to the automation. First, let's see how to check ticket activities. Go to a sample ticket. Here, you can see that the response is forwarded to a contact who is not the requester on the ticket. Now, the contact has replied, but the status remains closed. Go to Show Activities and click on it. Here, you can check if an automation rule has been executed or not. Next, let's see how to match the conditions of the automation and ticket properties. If automation is not executed on a ticket, compare the conditions in the rule to the ticket properties. To check for mismatches in the automation rule, navigate to Admin and select Automation under Workflows. Navigate to the Ticket Updates tab and click on the default automation to reopen tickets. Open the summary to check the conditions in the automation rule. The conditions should match the ticket properties. If not, the automation will not execute. In our sample ticket, the response is forwarded to a contact not part of the ticket. When the contact replies, the reply is added as a private note. The system did not recognize this as a reply and failed to reopen the ticket. Here is how you can fix this. Go to the default automation rule to reopen tickets. Navigate to when an action is performed by and choose the agent or requester. This option includes all participants in the ticket. Under the Involve any of these events section, you will find that Reply is sent event is already present. Click on Add a new event and select Note is added as any. Click on Preview and Save and save the automation rule. Now, return to the sample closed ticket and add a reply to the ticket as the contact to whom the response was forwarded. You can see that the response added as a private note has now reopened the ticket. To verify, you can click on the Show Activities section and check if the automation rule is executed. A few important checks you can perform on the default automation rule to reopen tickets are Under On Tickets with These Properties section, do not modify the conditions in tickets if status is not resolved, closed, or in tickets if status is resolved, closed. These conditions open the ticket when a customer responds. If the default automation rule is not working as expected, check the last modified status of the automation rule to see if another user modified the rule recently. And that's how you troubleshoot ticket update failures in Freshdesk Automation. If you need more help, please reach out to support at freshdesk.com. Bye.